pretty spectacular sight. I'm driving this guy nuts because he doesn't know where to park. Day two. Hey everybody, we're here with Katie. And today is Katie's birthday. Katie's the SSSG for the Atlantis. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> it's All a right. celebration. Yeah, so Katie's going to tell us a little bit about how we make our water on the Atlantis, but first... What is SSSG stand for? stand for? I would love to say it sounds, stands for super special super gals, but it does not. Uh, it stands for Shipboard Scientific Services Group, which means we take care of all of the scientists and all the scientific equipment here on the boat. Yeah, it's so super. they're experts in everything, and they are super special scientific <laughs> gals. <laughs> so one of the things that um, the students back in Illinois were asking mm -hmm. is, how do we get our water on the ship? They actually thought we might go a whole month without ever showering and that we had to bring jugs of water on board so that we could drink it. Mm -hmm. and so Not at ask. all. We make all of our water here on the ship. Uh, we have two different ways of making water. Uh, we have reverse osmosis system as our primary one. We also have some evaporators here on the ship that can basically do something like boil the water, make steam, and it makes like distilled water. And reverse osmosis basically just sends uh, seawater through a series of filters and purifies it and takes all of the solids and minerals out of the seawater and gives us perfectly fresh water out here. So what do you think? Does Atlantis water taste good? I think it tastes great because I personally, I think it tastes even better than city oh, water because okay. we don't add anything to our water that cities normally do. We have basically super pure water out here. Super so pure water. Super pure water. So it makes all our soap really sudsy. No hard water, no mineral Ooh. deposits anywhere. It's super clean water. Wow. I think it tastes great. So is it expensive to make? Does it take a lot of energy? Um, it does. It's very expensive to make, and that's mostly in the filtration process um, of making it. And that, But it doesn't take a whole lot of energy. Most of the energy generated by the ship and our generators that we have online while we're at sea, most of them go into propelling the ship. That takes oh. even more energy than it takes to keep the lights on and flush the toilets and keep the refrigerators cold here on the ship. And that includes making water too. Okay, very, very cool. All right, well, in a minute we're going to get some water samples to take back mm -hmm. so you the students can try it, and I'm wondering, can they tell the difference? Does the Atlantis water taste, taste super awesome and pure and better than the other? We'll see. We'll see. We can make a whole lot of it out here, too. So oh, yeah, that's right. We can make several thousand gallons of it every day out here, so it's not very often we can run out of water. Out yeah, here. so it's we're not, not going to run out of water. <laughs> not going to run out of water. We can also hold several days' worth of water in storage tanks after we make it on here in case we can't make water for a couple days. Well, you are also, big deal. you're also saying that you can't make water until you're far enough away from the shore, right? True. We generally don't run it while we're real in harbors or stuff where there's lots of trash in the water. It could be lots of pollutants. We don't want that to get into our system. So once we're offshore and it's clean ocean water, it's pretty easy to make. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Katie, and Welcome, happy guys. birthday, and I'm, you'll be seeing more of her on and off throughout the trip, so. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, we're on the mess deck, walking by the galley. Oatmeal cookies. Uh, I take one. <laughs> All right, so you guys were pretty interested in how we make water at sea, and we wanted to bring some of that water back to you so you have a feel for what we might be tasting over the next month. So, we've gone to the store, we've bought some bottled water, fortunately, and what we're going to do is dump it out and refill it with some of our purified ship water. It's been made through the reverse osmosis process, and Chateau de la Pompe is where it currently rests right Chateau now. Chateau de la Pompe. Exactly. <laughs> Chateau de la Pompe. <laughs> and we're going to bring it back so that you guys can try it out and let us know what you think. We'll see if you can differentiate between champagne water and Atlantis water. We'll see. Everyone says it tastes better than tap water. I'm skeptical. So, down the drain it goes. Don't do this at home. So sad. It is. Oh. 